Your girl is back on hustle. Period. I don't have time for Target today. <laughs> we actually don't have any matcha. Oh, girl, the ghetto. Ooh, it's getting chaotic. You say crazy, you get crazy. Girl, relax. I'm gonna feel sexy as Mm-hmm. Party in my crib, 2 a.m. Bring a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Shanice Alicia and welcome to another weekly vlog. Happy Monday. So your girl is about to get up and out of the house. I have quite the to-do list to knock out, but I'm not sure that I'm going to get everything done today because it's already after 3.30. Mm -hmm. But I got a copyright claim on last week's vlog, which I hope you guys are already caught up on. And I ended up having to edit up the car concert so I can re-export it. And we're going to see what YouTube does with the new edits. So I need to go run and get my brows threaded. I can't take it no more. I got content to film and they make a difference on the face, okay? And then I also need to go get my Brazilian and get my armpits waxed because this weekend we have Twyla's baby shower. I don't know what I'm wearing and I just wanna kinda get my errands knocked out early because I will be in place to help and get things done from probably Thursday night on into Saturday and even after on Sunday, just depending upon if she needs help getting things back over to her house. Then I am meeting Ashley at Sam's Club. She has a project that she's doing for the school. So we're gonna go there. She's gonna use my truck to carry the bulk of everything back to the school. And we have to do that between five and 6.30 because the school is gonna close at seven. After that, I need to return the sound machine, humidifier, air purifier situation that I bought for the baby shower to Target because I'm just going to go with what I know versus trying something out new because I was reading the reviews the other night. I know people only complain when they don't like something. A lot of people that actually think things are good don't leave reviews. I know it's crazy, but I don't know. I don't really like how that was looking. So I'm going to get what I got for Harley. And then Tiaram was also telling me about the hatch. So I'm going to go in between those two. But I just want to get something that's going to be useful. I don't want something that's going to die in the next six months or so. I don't want something that's not going to be efficient enough, effective enough, whatever the case may be, because only the best for the best. Okay. But outside of that, I do need to make a run to Beauty Master because I did need to pick up a few more things. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, then you know. Saturday, I actually had my wig on. Kia came over Friday night, braided it down, so boom. It was cool, but it was a little too humpy for the wig. And y'all know I like a good flat application. I don't want to be looking like I got on a top hat or toupee okay so yeah there's that and that wig honestly and truthfully just needs to be remade so i'm not going to try and force it i'm just going to pass it off to lanisa and we're gonna move from there so boom i think those are all the updates that i had to give to you guys really quick speaking on the wedding my girl jamil she's married now okay she follows me over here on youtube and she watches all of the vlogs so i just want to say a special congratulations to you and Badal. The wedding was nothing short of amazing, definitely lit, definitely a vibe, and you guys had a great time. I'm glad that we were able to do that for y'all. So, sidebar, this is my OOTD. Listen, we woke up this morning here in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia to be exact, and girl, it was 41 degrees out the dough. So, I'm pretty sure it's warmed up by now. I may end up removing this, but when she told me to lift my hands to hold my brows when I'm getting them threaded, <laughs> I don't need her asking if she want me to thread these armpits. Okay, very good. So <laughs> once I get done with that, then I'll probably take this off because I know it is kind of warm out there just based upon me opening up that door to let Deuce back in. But I'm feeling, okay, all the news monochromatic type of vibe with a little denim. I never wear this much clothes when I'm going to get waxed, but you guys know the seasons are changing and girl, these thighs got these pants so ripped up. I really need to go ahead and let them go. But anyway, 
Anyway, for real, let's go get in the car. Hey, friend, how you doing? Good to see you. I'm good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna see you later. Whew. All right, you guys, y'all know what tickles me? People be having the blatant audacity to be inappropriate and then get mad when somebody has to check them. Like, don't let this internet shit fool y'all, for real. I don't know how many times I'm going to address shit, but dead ass, let's dead the victim act once I clap back. <laughs> let's dead it. You stepped out of line. You know this, especially if you follow me. You know how to come correct and how not to. So as a grown adult, you say crazy, you get crazy. Don't be mad when you get shamed, okay? Especially in the comment section. Don't be mad. When you be shamed, take accountability. Just knowing right from right, wrong from wrong, and fair is fair. So if I feel like I got time today, <laughs> you ain't gonna like my response. Like, come on, for real. I don't even understand why we keep doing this, but I just got the wildest little comment. And I'm like, hmm, the level of inappropriate this was. And it's not even on my page where I could delete it. So yeah. Yeah. But any home, let's move. So today, I said enough was enough. I downloaded this to-do list app, and it's actually called the Minimal List, which is super cute. Play on words, and that's what attracted me to it. So let's see how good I am at just staying up with it, because sometimes I rely on my memory to carry me through the day, and it's just not working like that. And when I'm on the go, I need to be able to look back at my phone outside of the notes, because <laughs> they be thick as hell too, and just see, did I take care of everything? everything I need to take care of while I was out of the house. But let me go ahead and make my way onto the mall. I hope that they're not crowded today. We'll see, it shouldn't be, it's a Monday. I mean, it's almost after school hours, but oh, I pray they can slide me in so I can slide on out. Y'all know I gotta go get my fix. Phew, okay. Mm-hmm. The heat was definitely sitting up on my neck as I was walking to the car. So now it is 4.09. I'm about to head on over to the plaza where Target, the wax salon, and everything else that I go to is because it's right across the street from Sam's Club. And I actually want to go buy a memory card because this one has mm, three minutes left. I'm not sure what that's about, but I'll see you guys once I make it to where I'm going next. Thank you so Absolutely. much. You have, you a, have good a good one. one. Okay, so I made it inside Sam's Club. We're trying to find Ashley. Y'all got a little hot water thing in the break. Chow. It's the faculty and staff member over here for me, honey. Girl. <laughs> My girl got her, uh, her paper itemized list, baby. Y'all, Sunny D used to be the vibe. I used to love that. Okay, so we just now got out of Sam's. Following Ashley to the school so that we could go ahead and make this drop. It is currently 6.30. Phew, so I came up out that sweater for a little second while we were moving the stuff in and out of the school. We're actually leaving there and we're about to go to Cheddar's to grab us something to eat. It is currently 7.15. So, needless to say, your girl is not going to go get waxed today. I am going to try and get out of the house a lot earlier tomorrow, depending on how much work I'm able to get done to go ahead and run that errand as well as returning this thing to Target. Get on, get on my nerve. 
Hey you guys, happy Tuesday. So your girl is up and out of the house. I'm actually back at Ashley School. They're having a pep rally today and I said that I will pull up just for the vibes. My profile is going to be DJing there. She also went to this school and then Jasmine works here so I'm going to surprise her. I know that's going to be a treat and my girl is going to be thrilled. So they have about maybe 30 minutes before the pep rally. I wanted to get here early so I could go sit up in Ashley's office or just walk with her to all the festivities even though I know she's working so I'm about to go ahead and head in I don't know if I'm gonna feel because these is folks cheering okay so I'll see if I do or if I don't but if not once I get out of here I need to go get waxed and then I'm also going to make my return to Target and then I need to go pick up my CVS order for this wave of content that I have to put out it's actually due today I'm gonna turn it in either tomorrow or Thursday because that's what I feel like doing you feel me and it doesn't need to be approved or go into the approval window until the 17th today's the 10th so we move very good <laughs> All right, you guys, so I am out of the schoolhouse. It is currently six o'clock. Tap your nose, tap your nose. The pep rally was cute. It's just nostalgic to see things like that because it makes me feel like, wow, time really flies. Cause just the other day I was in high school, really. I won't even date back to middle school, but I'm about to go ahead and head to the wax salon so I can go get my Brazilian and armpits taken care of. We finally made it, y'all. Phew. All right, so I just made it out of the wax salon. That was pretty good. I did have to wait like maybe 15 minutes or so, but the lady who's usually at the front desk did my wax. And when I say baby girl was thorough, when she pulled out them tweezers, I was like, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We ain't got to get every hair, sis. God, damn. I was ready to get up off that table. But now, since I'm here in the parking lot with Target, we're going to run over there and make this return. And then tomorrow, I'm going to do my CVS run if I don't feel like doing it once I get out of Target. But I just may. I just may. That way, I'm able to film that content at home tomorrow before I make my way out the door to do anything else. So I'll see. I'll see what I'm feeling. Um, let me do it on the card that I pay with. Okay. Thank you so much, you too. All right, let's go get what we came for. Okay, I know a lot of people talk about this brand, Frida Baby, but let me find the hatch and what I bought for Harley, and then we're gonna make our final decision. Okay, listen, this is what I just returned. This is what I got for Harley, and it's by Frida Baby, so I think I'm probably gonna get this again. The only difference was I seen that this one had different light features, and I think it said something about the red light therapy being really good for kids, and you can control it from your phone. All right, after a thousand hours of reading reviews and everything else, we're going with this because it's seeming to be the best. Y'all, get me out of here. 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 Look at it. All of these cute little books, and then you can touch and feel in them. Gotta go. And then I saw these. They're on sale. Little sleepers. But I got him clothes off of Shein already, but how could you resist? And it has a little elephant on it. Okay, so his nursery is safari themed and this would be super cute to put all of his gifts inside of but this is so small and I'm not sure if it's going to be able to fit in there and let me see what price this is because I know this ain't no $40. So now that I'm sitting here thinking about everything that I got, yeah, we're going to go with a bag because I got too much shit to be fitting up in this cute little thing because I was going to get some cellophane and wrap everything in here kind of like decorate it cute and then you know heat dry it to fit but yeah I'll get guys something else for his room uh oh that 
trash trifling. Uh oh, there's a worker passing by. Uh oh, let me go. And here go Target trying to make me feel good about spending my coin. But anyway, Target run. <sighs> and then you guys. Hey girl, before we get any deeper into today's video, I just wanted to pop on to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Bright Sellers. And they're just not any old wine club. Bright Sellers makes discovering the wine you like simple. And the proof is in the pairing. By taking their quick online quiz, Bright Sellers matches you with wine specific to your taste palette. And these wines are sourced from all over the world. For me personally, as the holiday season is approaching, I'm gearing up to be the hostess with the mostest. If you know, you know. And new wines make for great icebreakers. And I've really been enjoying testing them out. Each box comes with cards to help you learn about each bottle, which makes it super easy to pair with your favorite dishes or desserts when your company comes over. And if you don't like a bottle, your Bright Sellers Concierge will replace it just like that. And a special thank you to Bright Sellers for giving my followers their first six bottle subscription box for just $55. It's usually $156. So run, don't walk, click the link down below in the description box, take the quiz and get started today. Once again, I wanna thank you Bright Sellers for sponsoring today's video. Now let's hop back into the vlog. Period. Period. It's the CVS merch for me. Anywho, you guys, happy Wednesday. So I'm about to get up and out of the house. I need to go shoot this CVS content. Hence me having on this hot ass sweatshirt. It is 75 degrees outside with an 80% chance of rain. So hopefully there's a little wee bit of a breeze because it looks fallish and breezy outside. Anyway, though, it's 240. <clears throat> Not sure how we got there, but I'm pretty sure I have an idea. So number one, I was able to lay out all of the gifts that I got for my guy, baby, and I overdid it. Overdid it. Overdid it because while I'm out here in the stores shopping, I forgot that I had a box of stuff coming from Shein, which I really didn't think was much, but now after I laid it all out, rotten. Rotten. He's going to be rotten. Okay. So yeah, I'm still not done because I am going to pick up a humidifier and air purifier thingamabob. So hopefully I'm able to get that out of CVS. Okay. Because auntie tad, auntie tad is like that car. I ain't even for the hold you. I ain't even for the lie to you. So I edited two reels and I posted them this morning, one on my personal page and then one on the Springer homepage. Hopefully you guys are following both and able to check them out. Go ahead and give me a little like, give me a little comment, let me know that you're watching the vlog right now. So um, Sim helped me unpack the car last night, that fat ass tissue that I had. I came in here and pretty much did my nighttime routine and uploaded that footage to the computer so I can edit it, which is done. So you guys by now should have seen like the how to transform your everyday decor into seasonal decor. Check me out, check me out. It's like four minutes, y'all. Please, if you haven't already, go back and watch it. I know y'all like the long videos, but nobody's searching Shanice Alicia on YouTube. I don't know, I don't know, okay? But I need to continue to post things that are searchable. So I'm going to upload that probably either tonight or tomorrow morning, because I'm thinking the vibe of not even adding any words to it. If I do, it won't even necessarily be talking about everything I'm doing in the video. It'll just discuss decor overall and how to change things up just in terms of how I feel. I don't know yet. I'm still creatively thinking about that. But since it's halfway done, I said I was going to take a break, get myself together so we can get out the house. Without further ado, let's do that before I keep talking to y'all. Girl sidebar, we're at the stage in the weather where you don't really want the AC nor the heat on. Like, should I just keep my fan on auto? Because right now I have it turned off and... Uh-huh. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. And the first place that I sweat when my hair is out like this is right here in the roots of these two little curls in the front. And it's not cute once it get poofy. It is not cute at all. Oh, I should bend down and fix these shoes, but I don't feel like it. Whew. I had to put a new screen protector on my phone. I hope y'all can hear me over this loud ass fan. 
So there's that. Because for whatever reason, I am rough on my phone and it's always falling. Girl, I hope y'all ain't looking at no moose knuckle. Let me just change the angle. All right. So I'm going to bring this because I do intend to really film in CVS, but this may not be necessary. Let me bring the tripod for y'all too. And then, can't go nowhere without this. Actually, anyway, I can, but I can't. Let's go get in the car, for real. You all right? You okay? You need anything from me before I go? You wanna come talk to the people? Hmm? Come here, baby. What's wrong with you? You need your nails clipped, cause I hate to hear you sounding like you got on high heels. Come on. Give me some love before I go. Thank you. Thank you, shitty love. Whew. All right, it feels pretty decent out here feels cooler than it does in my own house that's crazy that is crazy y'all know what i haven't gotten my matcha for this week is that not a wild thing i know right i know <sighs> need to go get that today i also need to take these mats back to walmart because i opened them up to put them down in the car they don't fit now i done had these mats for as long as i've had my car Go figure. Okay, so before we get on our way, let's chat about a comment I got on the last weekly vlog. I feel like a lot of you guys have felt this, but you didn't really know how to say it. You didn't want to pry, and I respect it. Okay, I appreciate y'all for keeping some coof about yourself, and it's not an issue. Let's talk about it. So, I know y'all are accustomed to a different type of content from me, us being outside every single weekend, Saturday and Sunday, upside down, just showing a lot of the situation. And this year, especially post my wreck a lot has been different a lot of us have had so many transitional things going on in our lives whether it be career wise baby wise health wise and just the list can go on so you wonder if myself, Ashley, and Twyla have fallen out, why I'm not with the crew so much, why you guys haven't seen that type of setting from us. And it's just simply put like, y'all, we are growing up. And think about it. Do you see your friends every day or every weekend? No. So the same thing goes for us. And in these times where so many people have so much life happening, the time that we do get to spend together, I would just prefer not to be shoving a camera in someone's face or having a camera in my face being distracted from the time I can be present. And I hope that makes sense, but it's literally what's been going on. There's been so many things where we've gotten together as a crew or I've been over to Twyla's house or me and Ashley have gone out to get food. Queen came over here, me and Tion went on a date. Like, you know, me and Rena, I was at her volleyball game after school but I just don't be feeling like picking up the camera and showing y'all stuff and I don't want y'all to get that mistaken with us falling out because that's not gonna happen like when I say me and especially my core group of friends have been through the trenches together like y'all know a handful of them I've pledged with we've been through undergrad together and we've seen each other at our absolute worst and we've already had our falling outs which weren't major deals but we were able to find a way to come back together and I'm talking about this was when we were 19 20 21 before we were able to mature and do all of that stuff so with that being said to my point that's nothing that y'all have to worry about or even question we're not like regular friends we're cool friends very good so <laughs> I get on my own damn nerves but don't ever feel that way just respect everyone else's privacy and then the boundaries that I am now coming to create here on the channel because you can never be enough for anyone and when I say that some people don't like me going outside and being upside down being drunk every weekend because you got something smart to say and then other people don't like the fact that I be at home sitting in the car doing what I'm doing right now chatting talking so much you know there's no balance for the amount of people that come across my videos so I know as things are changing you guys may have questions or feelings about stuff but understand that I'm gonna bring the vibes whether I'm by myself with my husband with my best friends with my family they're gonna be there it's just gonna be a different wave of things because 
if you guys could imagine when Twyla's baby does get here, just like y'all ain't seen Twyla <laughs> all year, y'all ain't finna see that baby. <laughs> I just want y'all to know it's not gonna be no mommy and me stuff. It's not gonna be no TT and me. Whatever she feels comfortable with showing, that's what we're going to follow suit and do. Point blank, period. Now, I'm not gonna say on Instagram, if you guys follow her, you may not see a little sneak peek, the hand, the face, whatever, but the internet is a very nasty place, and I try to protect my friends and the family members that I do show here on camera at all costs and when it start getting a little funny you know what I'm saying this is my job not theirs they've adapted very well to it but I actually asked them at the top of this year like hey <laughs> do y'all mind being on camera like does that bother y'all at all and they were like well bitch find time to be asking but for real these are just the things that I'm starting to really scale back and take into consideration when it comes to everyone because they didn't ask for this lifestyle especially like Ashley, Rena, Chelsea, Darren, Shakina they don't vlog at all now Twyla opened up that Pandora's box that's on her <laughs> so the queen and Dion. so you guys expect certain things like that i know y'all love us i know y'all love seeing everything but some things just aren't meant for y'all and it's never gonna be me and my friends falling out like i don't even want to say what the circumstance has to be but just know that you ain't never got a question that just know it's just privacy and boundaries and we're practicing them a lot more because I feel like the internet has gone to a different wave of entitlement and I could go on for days talking about it but we don't have time I've talked enough let's get to CVS Phew. Okay, so I just pulled up to CVS. I'm trying to get my thoughts together because really and truthfully, this video is going to be in the house and I had to provide a script for it. Thus meaning I can't stray away from anything that I've gotten pre-approved. So I'm just trying to really get my mind wrapped on how much I need to film in there because honestly and truthfully, it's not that much. And where is my script, honey? So this is my script and as you guys can see, that's probably not going to take that long to say. So this video may be maybe like 30 to 45 seconds, which is perfectly fine by me. You know, the shorter the better if you ask me in terms of editing and getting it submitted because that last video that I did, the get ready with me, it was like two minutes and 19 seconds and I caught my ass trying to upload it because reels only go up to 90 seconds or some crazy shit and I ended up having to post it as a post and just, ugh, the cropping. Girl, it was a lot. So yeah. I said all of that to say I'm about to get out the car and get myself in here. Now, whether or not I feel much for you guys, that's up for the debate, but I am going to try. They don't know the half. Whew. They only know what I tell them. They don't know, they don't know, they don't know, they don't know. Uh -oh. Put y'all down. Y'all the wrong people to have up. That's our shot right now. Let me go for one day. Let me lose myself again. Give me something for the pain. Always trying to pretend that I'm not living just a lie. Broken heart and shattered lives. Let me go for one day. Let me lose myself. Look at that, y'all. CVS has their brand of organic cotton panty liners. Didn't know that. Sitting side by side, Cora and Honey Pie. All right, so I think I got the content that I wanted to get in store. I always get a gift card for a certain amount, so I'm gonna walk around and pick up a few more items that I need to re-up on, and then I'm gonna get up out of here. How are you? Good, how are you? I am good. You have a CVS card? Yes, ma'am. What's the number we need to get? 130. Okay. 120. Okay. Okay. 15109. Ooh! That feels good. That feels good. Aren't we? Minus that. Yeah. Yep. Of course, you got your receipt so you can see if you got some coupons. Yes, ma'am. 
Mm-hmm. I work for CVS. I'm a brand ambassador. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see me there? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Well, you have a good one. Yes, Girl, the ghetto it started raining out here uh-uh 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 my hair my hair whoo okay thank god it didn't come down too hard on me while i'm trying to do the good samaritan thing and take the cart back but done at cvs i was able to pick up the humidifier that i'm going to be gifting twyla but i was just trying to see what was the best and on amazon they said that this brand pure is really really good she has a frida baby which i showed you guys last night in target on there but mm, the reviews were kind of mixed and if we can go for the gusto let's go for the gusto i picked up a few other things too which i am going to do an entire haul of everything i've purchased while we pack for the baby shower but outside of that your girl is about to go ahead and grab her matcha and make her way on back to the cribbo i don't think there's anything else for me to be doing outside especially in this rain right now now somebody told me on the last vlog or in my dms to try the munchkins but uh how can i get through one second for me okay i'm ready can I do a medium matcha latte? Can I have it iced? We actually don't have any matcha. Oh, girl, shut your mouth. That's what I came here for. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um, Let me do your pumpkin spice latte. Let me get it iced. All right, it was iced for you. A medium. Okay, and what else? Um, can I do the pumpkin munchkins too? And what count for you? How many counts do they come in? Um, you can get 5, 10, 25, and 50. Oh, girl, let me do five. Five? And okay. what else for you? That's all. Right, it's gonna be seven, seven, seven. Thank you. I hate that I came all the way here for the matcha and the matcha is not here. And I started not to come. I started to just say, because it's raining, I don't feel like going out my way. Let me just go home. And I should have did that. Should have gone with my first mind. See what happens when you don't go with your first mind. Okay okay girl damn if you guys haven't watched this show called mayor of kingstown watch it it's very 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 good sim and i watched all those seasons uh in the course of like a month or so i can't even remember how long it took us but it's a good show you said it was 777 oh can i get a receipt okay thank you so much thank you Feel a little hard, friend. Mm -hmm. Let me try one. They're actually pretty good. Oh! Could I have gotten them warmed up? They look cool. Here you go. Thank you so much. You have a good one. Tell you something this chair nowadays and this generation listen listen it's in gen z y'all need to learn how to keep a few things between you and whoever because when i tell y'all the internet just got everybody feeling like they need to over share why are we learning things that's going on in folks bedrooms your body counts just like oh can we leave some things to <laughs> the imagination anyway i just made it home that was random not a car concert but this right here, I'm gonna go jump off the roof. Do you hear me? Combine with, when I say I got the jitters, 
I'm about to go inside and super film this stuff for CVS and I'm feeling like cooking tonight. At this point, I don't really know that I will. Every time that I'm alone with you, I'll be checking up on you. <laughs> If that nigga really knew, uh huh, you got a lot of freaking you. <laughs> Fuck life, we live life. If you want to go outside, we're going to go outside this way. Okay? You want to go out the door? Come on, baby, let's go outside. Come on. Come on, you and your high heels. Come on here. We're not going on a walk, honey. And don't get to be in no bag of it out here. Look, my baby over there busting a split. You busting a split, baby? Y'all, don't mind this grass back here. We're gonna get it together one of these days. Are you stretching? You know, you don't like the rain, so hair up before it start raining more. It's almost the season to dead the grass anyway. The idea was to treat it and make sure it would be ready for when it grows back. But yeah, we might have to see about that next year. Oh, this is the first time we get to see if the gutters work. One thing Deuce do not play with is that rain. I can't stand the rain. Uh-huh. Against my window. You want something to eat too, don't you? Get your raggedy back ass over here. Never. You was outside for 0.2 seconds. How did your paws get this dirty? Ugh. Disgusted. It's so crazy for all the friends and family who know about Deuce when y'all come to the house how wild he be acting and stuff. You see how chill he is? This man be putting on. I don't know what happens to him when other energies get in this house. Yeah. You stink. You. You. Oh. What's up about that white shit? Hmm. You about to. Don't do that no more. Let's go upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. I don't know what the hell dance would be. All right, we need this. We need this. Take the bag upstairs since you all in it. Take the bag since you in my basement. Y'all, Facebook. Let me tell you something. They be killing us off every single day because y'all want to know what I learned last night. One second. This ADD be kicking my ass. But for real, y'all, lady on Facebook made a post and she was pretty much saying that the U.S. is trying to kill all of the Americans in it, okay? Very good. So, at the bottom of certain food items that you could never even imagine this would be, it says, contains bioengineered food ingredients. That don't sound like it's from farm to fridge. That don't sound like it's from the pasture to the pantry. That sounds like it's from the lab to my belly. What contains bioengineered food ingredients? Well, do y'all see this? Hmm? What does that mean? Well, I am very much so concerned for our lives. It's on the back of Oreos, Raisin Bran, Hidden Valley Ranch, and a slew of other things that we would not expect. What y'all mean? I really need to do some more research into it to really see what's bioengineered food ingredients. But if common sense serves me correctly, it's in plain sight what that means oh i don't want to be here <laughs> this is so ridiculous what get me out the ghetto get me out of here get me out of here because this ain't the food y'all was feeding folk back in the days now all these crops all these animals everybody messed up Yes, I said animals, like, let me go. Cause I'm animals bioengineered too. They beefed up with, I give up. 
Okay, I just finished filming the content. Now I'm about to record the voiceover. Please do not mind my background, any of this stuff on the floor. When I tell y'all, I have so many sheet and packages and just things laid out in here. I'll give y'all a closer ratchet view in a second, but let me go ahead and do this. Did you know that one in five girls miss school due to the lack of access to period products? Yes, period poverty is a real thing and it affects over 500 million women worldwide. At CVS Pharmacy though, quality period care matters. Your period health matters. I love that they offer a wide assortment of quality period care products. And for the month of October, CVS has a goal to donate 1 million period products to communities in need in partnership with Feeding America. If you go in store to buy CVS health brand tampons, pads, menstrual cups, and liners, CVS will donate two CVS health brand period products. Join the Period Positivity Initiative today by grabbing your go-to Superior products from CVS Pharmacy. Boom, bada, ba, da, 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 da. Okay, I'm not doing another round because the PPPPPPPP period product positivity initiative is finna take me out. Okay, it's finna take me out. But let me show y'all this hot mess express. I really don't want to. First of all, I know y'all see this mountain of stuff all for Twyla shower. And then come on over here to the ghetto. Don't mind my hair on the floor right here. Jesus have mercy. These are all of the items I couldn't resist but to buy for myself. Mm-hmm. I'm about to go downstairs though, try to edit this reel and get my story frames ready so that I can just go ahead and submit in the morning because tonight is over with. Maybe I might submit late tonight. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. Oh, your girl is back on her Zoom. She back on her Zoom. Listen, I have vlogged every single day this week. Period. Y'all not seeing me. With that being said, happy Thursday. So, I got up. It's currently 1 o'clock. I've been getting stuff done around the house. In terms of a little chore here, a little chore there, I took some shrimp out because I'm going to make that pasta today once I finish up filming for this brand. I redid my hair, okay? I put my ponytail a little bit higher, did a different style of bun, and I also did my curls. Y'all see these lashes though? Get into it. Get into it. So this is my third time doing the at home individuals by kiss i believe it is y'all know the false scara type individual lashes and when i say <laughs> girl who paying somebody to do these for them okay the last time i did them they lasted for about four days and i actually just washed them off because i was ready for them to go one fell off and i was like yeah i'm not putting that one just Mm -mm, girl I'll do them again so I'm getting better I'm getting better but they look so good okay my eyebrows are done just needed a little sprinkle sprinkle so that I could film this content for the brand today and then they can last me into Saturday because I know the amount of running around setting up that we're going to be doing I'm probably not going to have time to be doing the whole entire shebang when it comes to the makeup Anyway, let me go ahead and set this tripod up so I can continue my productivity spurt for today. I'm also going to bring in the wine, which you guys have probably already seen because I feel like at this point in the video, it may be a little too late to throw in a sponsored piece. So once I get done with all of that work, unfortunately, I'm not going to give you guys any BTS. I will pick y'all back up. Phew. All right, you guys, so your girl is done filming. It's currently 3.50. Let me explain. Let me explain. I got on the phone with Brie, and then I turned around and ate me some lunch in the meantime, in between time while I was chatting because I was hungry and my creative juices flow a little bit better when your girl got a little something on her stomach. We had to catch up. So I am about to sit down to edit this content. I need to make a flyer for Friendsgiving to send out because time is getting away from us. And then I also need to upload the fall decor video that I said I was going to give you guys a few clips ago. I think my filming went pretty well. I'm excited to see how I throw this good little commercial in there. Y'all for real, 
Shop these sponsors that be taking the time out to see your girl, okay? And give her this good quaint. I'm sure that you can find something that you like on that site and they're giving a really good deal right now. So I would definitely say take advantage, hop up on it and do your girl a little good because it's been a while since I've been able to throw these sponsors in the vlogs back to back to back but um outside of that today has been a very chill in the house type of day and that's what I'm going to keep it as it got super ugly outside yesterday once I got back in from CVS the rain had just came in full force and it's been raining ever since I really 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 hope that it clears up by Saturday while I'm thinking about it, we do need to go upstairs so I can unbox and start packing everything for the baby shower and that is just about it I need to put a load of laundry into the dryer and start another load and what else did I have to do today I think that's it. So more than likely, I will pick you guys up when it's time to cook. And I didn't got to pour me a little glass of that wine. <laughs> Baby, I'm finna sit up on this couch feeling real sexy. Finna feel sexy as fuck. But anyway, for real, for real, let me go sit down, edit, get this work done, and I'll pick you guys up. Oh, hopefully I'm able to get this kind of knocked out because I do need to record the voiceover and yes yeah, so I'm about to be on his way home and I was trying to have dinner ready by the time he got here but I also want to get this work done because it's due by the 15th okay okay let's think let's think let's think oh hmm 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 the 15th is Sunday okay it's giving it's giving chaotic it's giving ghetto Get so high and drop that ass so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that ass so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that ass so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that ass so low. Make you sit right here now. Nah, you can go back home. I'm drank up and I'm danked up and I'm hella faded. You bend it down and you poke it up and you elevated. I'm drank up and I'm danked up and I'm hella faded. You bend it down and you poke it up and you elevated. You elevated. I came over, I ain't sober. I'm still drunk. That's hangover. Might run it back when this page over. You the best thing. I done slaved over. Gone arch you back and been way over. It's overdue for that understressing Over him, now you underdressing Call me up and I come finessing Like, ooh, we shot it, what it do, what it don't Baby, you a queen, you can move how you want You was rocking with me when I couldn't stay afloat They ain't never saying nothing, wavy to a boat Like, eyes up, look at me, now I'm the captain Brought the camera, time for action Split the legs just like a fraction Tuck the napkin, time for snacking You a motherfucking meal Tell me that it's mine, baby, tell me that it's real Hit it to the max, well, tell me how it feel It's gonna be a minute, cause I'm in it for the thrill Make her feel like heaven, she gonna put me in the wheel and willingly I wanna do anything she wanna do I ain't even wanna boo but this is what the karma do it's hard to be apart from you cause ooh I love it when I get so high and drop that ass so low make you sit right here now you can't go back home you love it when I get so high and drop that ass so low make you sit right here now you can't go back home I I'm drank up and I'm danked up and I'm hella faded you bend it down and you Elevated. I'm tanked up and I'm tanked up and I'm elevated. You bend it down and you poke it up and you elevate it. You elevate it. You. y'all hear and see that mm-hmm why my child sitting back there being creepy 
What? Uh, don't come in here. We got bed stuff. Uh-uh. 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 Back up. Back up now. Anyway, hey you guys, happy Friday. So listen, I know I dropped the ball on y'all yesterday, but after I cooked, there was really nothing going on. Not special, not exciting to pick up the camera and show y'all. I sat down, finished up the Twilight Saga, and I also edited the sponsored portion that you guys have already seen. I was able to get that submitted to my manager and she sent it over to the brand. So <laughs> pat on the back for this productivity. Okay, very good. And then once Sim came home from the gym, he showered, we ate, and we called it a night because there was nothing else to really do. I'm up early this morning I actually washed and blow dried my hair because I'm going to set it for my ponytail tomorrow I don't want to fool up with my hair and all of that stuff because tomorrow we are in full setup decor get everything lined up before the baby shower starts at 2 so here I am I am going to sit down and go through this stuff with you guys because I promise y'all a haul and by the time I get back later from picking up the treats the lighting is probably going to be terrible so Let's go ahead and go through this as fast as possible because it's just too much. Like these clothes, I told myself not to go crazy and here I am. Went a little stupid. I actually had to put things back when I was in Target the other night, which I told y'all because Shanice, girl, relax. He gonna be here for the rest of your life. Like girl, relax. So anyway, let's start off with this humidifier that I picked up is by the brand pure and I feel like this will be great for Twyla and baby of all ages that is so it has an ultrasonic cool mist all day moisture up to 25 hours of continuous mist and it automatically shuts off definitely during the allergy and cold weather seasons this is going to be very good and effective and I did tell her that I was getting the five in one or three in one that I got for Harley, which we've already talked about. So there's that. And then next up is the Hatch Rest. It's the second generation. Y'all know I picked this up in Target the other day and I read so many reviews. Tion actually swears by it. She says that they still use it for Dallas up to this day and Dallas is about to be three. Okay, so very, very good. It has a continuous sound machine, night light, time to raise, feature so I guess that means like you know when it's time to get up it plays a certain sound not sure but what really sold me is the fact that she can control this from her phone and then it also gives all these different light therapies I don't know this pink and red light therapy that they say for children let me know what that means because I had no idea so then moving into just some more essential gadgets and gizmos this one right here is the nail clipper it's an electric nail buffer and I feel like I've heard more than one mama say cutting in baby's nails is a lot so hopefully this comes in handy I also picked up some mom postpartum items for Twyla I do want to kind of make her more of a basket for postpartum and just like the treatment and the care that she's gonna need. Give her some feel good stuff because mama needs some loving too, but that's gonna come from a few of the butters I whip and the oil that I pour. So stay tuned for that. It's probably gonna come a lot closer to when she has the baby. So I was on Shein and I cut up and I mean real good. So I got this cup and phone holder for the stroller I feel like this is going to be very efficient so that she doesn't have to be bending over digging down in the basket to get things that she needs especially if she's out on a walk and she's just trying to move quick you know mama finna be back outside <laughs> my girl finna be on go so with that being said I thought that this little over the seat organizer for the car would be really cool because instead of her having to fumble and dig through the bag she can just put essentials in here like teething toys diapers wipes and whatnot and she could just reach from this and it'll keep her car nice and organized <laughs> if you know you know and then I also got this bag it's another stroller gadget it goes over the rail where you push you can put bottles on both sides. It has a little zipper back here for any of her personal items. You can also put diapers and wipes and all of that jazz on the inside. And I think it's Velcro to close it. I did get a box of the Honest Wipes. She also has the diapers on her registry. 
you guys know these are the clean and conscious baby wipes i tried to find them in the size two three four or five and all of the patterns were not appropriate for a little boy they had leopard they had floral even when i went to target i couldn't find any so today i am running out if i find some i find some if not i think we're gonna be okay so now moving on to just some other little cutesy stuff i got this little teething toy i know babies be teething fast and early y'all know frida baby has just been that go-to highly recommended not sure don't have no experience with it but we'll see i did pick up these books in target as well so we got the bedtime bear book we also have the brown baby lullaby, which I love because, hello, we are birthing brown babies, okay? And then this is a cute little book and it also has a mirror on each page and the shape changes. So I feel like that's super cute as she's reading him books at night. He can see himself in the reflection, keep him nice and engaged until he goes to sleep. So the nursery is safari themed and I told her that I was going to pick up these cute little closet dividers which have the sizes of all of the clothes because he has a lot. It goes from zero to three months all the way up to toddler, you know, 18 to 24 months. So that's good. I have two other teething toys up there. I put them up there just in case. Deuce found a way to break in here and he thought they were his, but I am going to take them down so I can show them to you or I'll probably show them to you on the screen. Let's move on to these clothes, honey, because, huh? All right, so I did everything from three to six, six to nine, nine to 12, and then 18 to 24. If that makes sense i didn't get any newborn clothes because i don't feel like my boy is gonna be newborn nothing but we gonna pray so oh girl what i want to start with i just girl, let me do the outfits so this cute little flannel jacket it is a little bit thicker and it came with these super cute little light joggers Adorable. And then what? What? We gotta get the boy camo official and stamps, okay? And then I also got um, this little jacket, which I could not leave in the store. Of course, we got some cargos from my boy. And a cute little denim top as well. These were so irresistible i could not i could not leave those in the store these are super 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 cute you guys little overalls and like i said these clothes are big so all his out clothes range from the 12 to 24 month y'all know how to break them down for the kids and then i did want to do a lot of sleepers because that's what he's going to be doing for the first few months of his life so I got these, they're long sleeve, got the footies on them, got the buttons to open up for convenient diaper changes. Those are the blue theme. So they got the stars on their little stripes. And then I got the neutrals, which are super cute too. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Same deal here. They have the footies, easy access to change diapers. And I couldn't resist. If y'all know his mama and everybody else that's going to be in his life. <laughs> Party in my crib, 2 a.m., bring a bottle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Couldn't leave that in the store. I wanted to do all of the auntie's little man, mama's little man. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was. But that's just stuff that I can probably pick up down the line as we go because I had already did enough. <sighs> y'all, uh, cute cute and i tried to make sure everything that i was getting would be you know buttons here so that she can change him let me see this is cute too because his theme you know what i'm saying cute 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 and i love the neutrals and monochromatics for the babies hence 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 how adorable is this a little pocket on the side be eating me up it'd eat me up and then i also did 
This sleeper, you guys saw this from Tarjay, it's a pack of two, and I believe these are the smallest that I actually got for him, which is three to six months, once again, footies. And this one actually has a zipper, both of them do, that you can unzip for easy put on, take off, diaper changes. I think that's it, so now. With this being said, can I put stuff in that little lion basket? I know you guys aren't gonna be able to answer me before the shower. Or should I just do the bag? Cause I feel like this humidifier is probably gonna be the biggest thing, but everything else I can roll and just really kind of place in the basket, which would be super cute. But then I'm just thinking about where the hell she gonna put this basket <laughs> in the nursery because it's decked out already and I know I'm not going to be the only one because Ashley's mom is making like a baby closet but it's going to be a big basket and then she did like the wooden rod so that she can hang stuff on it and then put stuff in the basket. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But to say the least, I am so excited. I'll talk to y'all more at the end of the vlog because I know y'all are already thirsty for us to get to baby shower day so y'all can see the vibes and enjoy everything. And we'll recap once all of that is done and I'm closing out today's video. So it's currently 1.40. I'm about to get out of the house. I'm going to pick up the treats at 4 4.30 so I have a little bit of time to run my errands which I need to go to Beauty Masters and I also need to go to Target to pick Deuce up some food. I got a small bag the last time and I'm not sure how we ran out that quick but it makes sense and he really loves the lamb and brown rice recipe that I got him so I'm gonna try to find that again in a bigger size. Let's go ahead and get downstairs. Let me go put on my ring, honey, because you know, if y'all don't see the ring, y'all be somewhere asking me and send me out, it's downstairs. And then um, I am going to put some stuff in my car that I'm giving to my mom because she's coming to the shower tomorrow. And yeah, we're gonna be on our way. I'll meet y'all there. I'll meet y'all there because this one got real good and chatty. Oh my goodness, am I such a bad mom? Anytime I've been in my office, y'all, I've told him to get out or find something else to do so he don't get comfortable being around stuff that I have laid out. Poor baby. He's such a good baby. Let me go get you some food. Are y'all digging my little two-piece? <laughs> One, two. Y'all see your girl, Shan, baby. I couldn't resist while I was buying stuff for Kai. This fell in the cart. Not really sure. This and a few other things. You know, I just needed some winter loungewear because hello, hello, we can't keep wearing the same stuff, especially for the videos, but don't we love it? Y'all see I got all my little New Balances with this. I need to put this big old box out, but that's probably going to be in the garage until the trash man comes next week. What else? I think that's it. Y'all, let me go. Before I head out though, listen, don't judge me, judge mom. I don't care. I don't care. You know you done did it too. I'll take care of that later. You know, I think what kills us the most about Georgia is that we go zero to 60 real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were complaining about the hot weather. Cool. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. We complained about the rain. All right. Heard you. Heard you. But now... Was it necessary to go from it being hot as hell last week to freezing cold this week? Was that necessary? Was that in the plans? Can we gradually go down in temperature or raise in temperature when the seasons are changing? Like, why does everything have to be so drastic? <laughs> like, I was just complaining about how hot I was and sweating at the top of this week. Low key. No, 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 no. It was the end of last week. But still, here we are. Let me listen to this good playlist. I also need to take some stuff back to Michael's and I need to create this she in return because I'm so accustomed to just holding on to things and letting it be what it is because I don't feel like going through all of that rah-rah. But yeah, I'm about to start getting my coin right on back because if it don't work out, it don't work out. I really like how stretchy and comfortable this little two-piece is. I'll have them linked below if you guys want them along with the other ones that I picked up because I tried everything on mm -hmm, to make sure that it fit. But yeah, let me get on the way. Oh, the weather is gloomy. It looked like it's just been a pour down. The wind blowing, but we just made it to Target. Y'all, they do not have the recipe that Deuce likes. They only have 
beef and vegetable, chicken and brown rice. What's this right here? That's puppy food. Chicken and salmon. Aww. He really likes that lamb, so I'm gonna just have to go with maybe the chicken and brown rice. do this one all right and then we're gonna get out of here because I don't have time for Target today I don't I don't I'm not gonna play no games I'm not even mm -mm. Whew. all right Target run and done listen this weather better find itself some act right by tomorrow because this is just not giving at all it started raining a little bit harder by the time I was able to get up out of there but luckily I got this hat on and my hair is not done so i'm not feeling too bad about it the starbucks line was a little wild in there okay so i want me a matcha but i also want me something hot cozy just like mm, 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 mm. i never used to get so many cold lattes until i started drinking matcha for real because i was always a white chocolate mocha hot with a little cinnamon dolce sprinkled up in there but yeah now girl I just been on a matcha train but i am about to get me something nice and hot today one of you guys just sent me something on instagram i think it's like a hot chai latte and vanilla brown syrup something something i need to go look at the makeup of it but i'm about to run into michael so i can make this return right fast and then we're gonna go probably pump some gas because i have to drive all the way to lithonia to pick up these sweets which is a stretch for me so i probably need to go ahead and gas up tonight so i don't have to worry or fight with that in the morning they still got a good amount of pumpkins and fall decor out well i mean duh because we're probably gonna run this until mid-november but that makes me feel a lot better about the post that i need to make for you guys over on instagram for the Springer home because I thought it was too late to really be even putting that up because the stores were going to be sold out. But yeah, I'm feeling better about that world. Make sure I got my receipt. So this is ribbon that we used for the centerpieces. Well, technically the bears that we put on top of the centerpieces. So I bought extra just to be safe, but I'm about to bring back the stuff that we didn't use because it's like two or three rolls. Yes, ma'am, I do. Would you like me to throw that bag away? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have a good one. All right. Next up, let's keep knocking out these returns. I need to go to Walmart for those mats that I need to take back. I don't have the receipt. I told y'all how long ago I got the mats, but one thing about Walmart, they gonna take it back, okay? They gonna take it back. But I just need to get myself prepared for this good Walmart gift card or store credit, whatever it's called. Let me do a grande chai latte. My question is, you already have the chai today. Ooh, y'all ain't got none. Okay, can I do a um, grande matcha latte? Can I have it iced? Can I do a pump of vanilla and a pump of brown sugar and that's all? Girl, God damn, these places ain't got nothing. Yesterday, Dunkin' ain't have matcha. Today, Starbucks ain't got chai. What the f Well, you know this the season, bitch. They be running out of shit. Oh, shit. Hold on, sister. Let me let this lady scan this. You going inside of Starbucks, hush. Thank you so much. Y'all, I had the nerve to think that this gift was gonna fit in a basket. Nonetheless, all in this bag. Girl, we are full to capacity. Oh. Hi, let me go do my hair. Oh, you guys, happy Saturday. So it is officially baby shower day. And your girl is up. Of course, as y'all can see, I'm on my way out. And when I say I am so geeked, I talked to Twyla last night and also this morning. I know I dropped the ball on y'all yesterday real bad, but the rain picked up. I went and picked the treats up from Rita. Girl, they are so cute. I'm gonna put her information here on the screen and of course down below in the description box if you're in the Atlanta area. Go ahead and book with my girl. Get your treats from her because when I say sis be snapping, sis be snapping. So me and her caught up for a while and by the time I made it back home, I was in 
let's go I packed up this car I got my gift packed up and y'all saw I don't know why I thought <laughs> that little basket was gonna do anything because we are filled to capacity in this gift bag like I gotta hold it from the bottom because it will probably tear holding it by these straps so anyway I also have Jasmine's gift in the trunk she had her order shipped to me so I'm gonna hand that off to her so that she can put her name on it and all of that jazz because it's really big and I'm not sure that she's gonna even be able to put that in a bag or wrap it up so I also straightened out my hair I did a quick little drive-by so I could really slick it down today and this is proof that I tried to do my hair now what I look like after we get to running around and setting up I'm not sure the venue opens up at 9 and then we're gonna try to be done by 11 30 12 let us pray let us pray I mean we have what eight or nine tables decor to put up everywhere drapes to hang balloons to transport back and forth and then the lady is going to put those up so i feel like we're going to be good but let us pray because setups are never easy outside of that darren is picking up breakfast i'm about to call ashley because i wonder if she's up and moving and i'm about to make my way over there i should be there by 8 45 i was going to be at the house a lot earlier but when twyla told me darren was getting breakfast i was like sure. <laughs> girl i could chill for two seconds so once i get there i'm going to try my hardest to pick you guys up and bring you guys along for a little bit of the setup and all of that jazz but if I'm not able to I'm going to see if Rena can hop in and film for me but y'all know Rena also be wanting to make content on her phone to put on her Instagram story that nine times out of ten she don't post until 24 hours later but yeah we'll see so I'm about to make my way and I'll catch you guys later we need to put the clouds up there they haven't gotten to see you uh -huh. they ain't got to see you for real no, they the baby. Okay, this is our before. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the after. <laughs> you guys so we are good and in schedule actually dream team made it happen today it's 11 37 and we are about to pull back up to twyla's house so we can all start getting dressed and ready janae is about to pull up to do her makeup she's gonna curl her own hair because i don't think i brought a curler i was gonna try to help out but i can't curl no hair with no flat iron that is not my ministry so yeah outside of that we are doing pretty pretty good in terms of time and all we gotta do now is just get dressed and get on the way to the venue because it's all the way set up. Oh, and that then, was your camera. Uh-huh. You take a picture. You vlogging. No, oh, baby. You run, you, you run in front of the She oh. said you run in front of the bed. <laughs> I'm be fresh as hell, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing, aren't you? <laughs> Woo! What's the time? like that. Yeah, man. <laughs> This is our caterer for to today, play. baby. Don't play with daddy. That's big baby caterer. 954 8024 $25 a person. 100 people, $25. I know that's right. Not big baby catering. Let them right. know. Janae. You came up with it. Say what's up to the vlog. What's up, y'all? Y'all know I'm here going to get a You got a million people following you. Yeah, it's up to you. Say what else? 60K. 60K, almost there. All right, you guys, so we just made it back to the venue, dressed. I'm gonna take this off at the very last minute because my hair is still slick, but let me show you guys the final, final changes and touches.
not a fan. The contestants on one side. I'm gonna throw up, guys. The first the trash can. thing that is not blindfolded is to instruct the one that is blindfolded to eat the baby food. Defeat the baby food. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm like, bitch, I so, the one that's blindfolded is going to be feeding the contestant that is not blindfolded the baby food. And whoever can eat the baby food the fastest will get a into a toupee by the end of that baby shower what was going on hmm? what happened as y'all saw from the footage i had that fan glued to my head because baby we had to keep her laid but i got a little too many shots rolling in and then i let my guard down and that was all she wrote i had to cut the footage short because huh <laughs> what was happening i'm not really sure how we got there but i am not going to drag this out any longer than it has to be i feel like i've already talked enough 
for one vlog but i did want to just pop on and close things out and just say congratulations to my best friend twyla she is officially a mommy and she is going to have a baby boy in any day now and when i say life is truly evolving and just happening before our eyes ashley and i <laughs> to say the least thought this was an april fool's joke until my girl pulled up with the first doctor's appointment footage and the onesie <laughs> got my me and it was just like whoa this is happening this is really happening and to know where all of our friendships started especially with Ashley and Twyla knowing each other since high school to us meeting as young teenagers moving into that awkward ass young adult stage it's just crazy to think that we are in the next stages of life and this is what's to come and as we continue to grow the crew is going to continue to have children and we're going to be raising our families together like y'all it's such an emotional and just happy time for us being as close as we are to her and i was literally at the baby shower staring at her like twyla you look so pretty like you're glowing she seemed so happy and it's just like you're a mom do you understand that we're at your baby shower right now it's crazy but when i say i am just so proud of how she's carried herself throughout this entire pregnancy she's just been so poised and graceful and just the epitome of somebody who is pleasantly pregnant, mind her business and drink her water. I love that for her, okay? So, yeah, you guys, I just, I'm in awe. <laughs> I am in awe, but everything turned out beautifully on Saturday and we had a blast. If you couldn't tell, we had a great time. I tried to get Rena and Shakina to film as much content as they could, especially being with the copyright and all of that stuff. I didn't even want to fight with trying to orchestrate that while we were hosting the shower. So anyway, I'm not going to continue on too much longer. I do want to say this. Thank you guys so much for supporting us and watching all of the vlogs. Thank y'all for making it to this point in today's video. I haven't really been able to gauge who all has been watching to the end, but today I'm going to get y'all. Okay, so if you are here, please put a blue heart down below in the comment section. This is not only going to congratulate Twyla on her baby boy, you're also going to be praying for a very safe delivery for her and baby Kai. Put some good juju and well wishes up in the air. Show all of your love and support down below for my girl because I will tell her to read the comments. But I love you guys so, so, so very much if you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up spam the comment section down below y'all already know hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and don't forget to tap the bell so you don't miss notifications every time i upload i will see you guys in the next one peace guys <laughs>